So let's be real, that laptop that you've had for a while, the battery just ain't lasting as long as it did when it was new. So what is there that you can do to try and squeeze a little more juice out of your laptop? Tip number one, don't put it in a Blendtec blender. That is not how you juice a laptop. Tip number two, well, that's coming, but we have to roll the intro first. So the first one is super simple and the most obvious, screen brightness. Your laptop's display is the biggest battery sucker, that is to say, unless you're like folding on it or something like that. So pretty much just turning the brightness down to a still readable, but you gotta kinda, maybe you have to move a couple inches closer, is going to significantly improve your battery life. Although, it's not always possible, and it depends on the environment that you're using it in. If you're outside, you simply may not have a choice. Most laptops have a quick, you know, function key for this, but on Windows, if you can't find the hotkey, just drag the mouse down to the bottom right corner, or if you have a touch screen, drag in from the right, and the brightness controls are within the settings right there. Next up, your laptop's built-in speakers. You can lower the volume or turn them off outright in order to save a little bit of power. I mean, being realistic, unless you've got like your beats cranking while you're writing your essays, replying to your emails, it's not gonna make much of a difference, but consider plugging in headphones. They do consume a little bit less power compared to cranking up the volume of the laptop speakers themselves. Another option that has become more and more popular with newer laptops is a built-in power management system. What this is, is presets, uh, preset profiles, usually through a function key command or a little dashboard within the system tray where you can cycle through different power modes that the manufacturer has laid out for the laptop. In most cases, although they often come up with their own completely ridiculous names for these, there will be a very, very power saving mode, usually called like Eco or green or something along those lines, a regular mode, and then like a turbo or a high performance mode. If you have an older laptop though, which doesn't have this feature, you can set this stuff up manually. So you can change options in the control panel and create your own profiles. Windows by default has a balanced and high performance one, if I recall correctly, but you can create your own. You can set up all kinds of stuff like uh, what the laptop does when it's on battery and when it's plugged in with respect to the display turning off uh, or the computer going to sleep outright. And you can also even set things like like uh, maximum processor power and stuff like that. So just check out the battery icon in the taskbar or open up the start menu and type in power or something along those lines. Something else that might actually help is disabling built-in hardware features that you're not using, just like you would do on your phone, stuff like Bluetooth. When's the last time anyone used Bluetooth on a laptop for anything other than a mouse? Which let's face it, you're not using all the time. So watch out for any features like that. You can either disable them through software or if you literally never ever use them, a lot of the times you can actually disable them outright by going into the BIOS by pressing F2, F10, delete, or one of those hotkeys and uh, just disabling that feature. One more tip, if your laptop has a removable battery, maybe pick up a spare. That's not really a tip for extending the life of your existing battery, but uh, Actually, for older laptops, a lot of the time I've been able to find them quite affordably on, on eBay, for example. And while it is a bit of a hassle to lug it around, at least you'll have more power. And if your laptop is really getting older, I had one that was about, must be, wow, about five years old at this point, where the laptop was at the point where it was only holding a charge for like three minutes, then throwing a new battery and an SSD. That's another way that you can actually save a little bit of power if you... Uh, have a model that has a replaceable drive in it. So you throw an SSD and a new battery and you can actually give a laptop a new lease on life as long as the memory and CPU are still somewhat up to snuff. So there you have it, just a few tips to help you guys get more out of your laptop. Let us know down below what you do to make your laptop last longer. Click over here for previous videos, check out the team over here on Twitter, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX.com. Except when once in a while they decide it does, because it's not about, you know, the thing they did last week. It has nothing to do with that. I mean, you can tell a good show with fresh ideas 
from a show that doesn't have any fresh ideas by the way that they handle a flashback. So when it's like, you know, Kyle's like, you make fun of me for being a Jew all the time. And they do a clip show of other times in the show that Cartman has made fun of Kyle for being a Jew. That is weak sauce. When they come up with a bunch of stuff that we've never seen before, but obviously along those lines, that is when they're not creatively devoid. So you have to actually have a new joke with the continuity of the existing characters. You can't just reuse the same joke. That's why the last season of South Park was terrible. We're gonna use that <laughs> somewhere.